All right, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel once again, back again with another video. And this is actually my first MLB 22 video of the year. Now, obviously, the game came out yesterday, and I think by the time you're watching this video, I'm actually streaming on my Twitch channel right now, grinding out the game as we speak. So my uh, Twitch is going to be up on the screen here, as well as in the description, and I'm streaming it right now. But yeah, yesterday, MLB 22 dropped. Um, if you had the uh, early access... I think the game fully launches, I think, next week, probably ne next Tuesday, I think on the 5th. But, you know, I pre-ordered the uh, MVP edition. I got the game early. And, uh, obviously, I've been grinding out on my Twitch channel. This is the team I have right now. So, in the outfield, I got Jared Walsh, Cody Bellinger, Babe Ruth as my outfielders. Infielders, I got Austin Riley, which I bought recently. Corey Seager, that new Chase Utley. Jose Abreu, and then catcher, I have Christian Vasquez with Robbie Ray as my ace pitcher, who I have up to parallel one because I was using him a lot on my Twitch stream yesterday. But yeah, that's my starting nine for right now. Lance Lynn, Joe Musgrove, and then like for relievers, I have Brad Boxberger and Edwin Diaz, who I got to parallel one. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much my team right now. The bench, I have Longoria as like my lone silver, and I do have like Aquino and Kevin Biggio, but like, you know... Not really the team that I want to hop into rank with. I kind of want to wait till like next week to hop into like ranked seasons. Like when I have like a couple more goals, maybe a few diamonds on this team. So yeah, next week you'll probably see me hop into rank. But as of right now, early on, I'm just going to be like grinding out like the offline stuff. So I can get like maybe like Mike Piazza and a couple other guys. In this video, I kind of wanted to talk about like, you know, the starter program, the face of the franchise stuff, um, BR, ranked. Um, and the packs. So let's just hop right into that. Let's start off with the face of the franchise stuff. So obviously, this is the thing that's like, you know, the big main thing right now. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of don't like how this is formatted, especially with like the choice packs for like every division. Like, you know, when they were getting revealed, like leading up to the game, like you saw Mike Trout, you saw Corey Seeger, Logan Webb, JT Romuto. Frankie Lindor, like, you know, guys like that, I was like, oh, damn, Team Affinity Stage 1s is going to be absolute fire, especially with the cards that we're going to release. They're all, like, 90 overalls. Like, damn, okay, TA Stage 1s is going to be really good. And then the SDS stream happened, and, you know, it was revealed that it wasn't part of Team Affinity. It was going to be part of a feature program, and, you know, <laughs> I wasn't really too happy about it. I know the SDS chat was not happy about it. Like, they were spamming L's in that chat. It was really, really bad. I took a look at it. I was like, damn, it's really toxic. Um, but yeah, not really a big fan of this. Of course, obviously, you know, I will do debuts with the cards that I do get from those choice packs and all that for my uh, YouTube channel, obviously. But yeah, not really a big fan of this. Now, obviously, there's like moments featured moments, like, you know, stuff you can earn XP from, like, you know, obviously I did the showdown on my Twitch channel, of course you got the Legend and Flashback missions, you got the program moments, daily moments, like I said, March to October, like, you know, there's ways you can earn XP to get, like, you know, these uh, packs right here, but not really a big fan of, you know, how they're formatted. Of course you got the starter program with Babe Ruth, I did that on stream, pretty much you get, at the end you get an 82 Babe Ruth, I mean, Pretty typical card from Ruth early on. Good power against lefties. He's really good. 84-77 against righties. 69-86 against lefties. Nice on the contact. So, yeah, I got that card. He's my right fielder. A new thing that they added in this year, we got many seasons. It's like, you know, I think 28 games. Like, you know, there's a best of five for the playoffs. And if you win, like, you know, the championship, you get this 89 Evan Longoria, which, you know, early on is going to be really, really good. 55-63 contact, 81-105 power, 76 vision, diamond fielding, 82 arm strength, 56 speed. You know, this card could be, like, really good, like, early on. Of course, obviously, on, like, Hall of Fame and Legends, he's going to be really, like, unusable. But, like, you know, for, like, veteran and all-star, he could be really, really good. So, that card could be really good. But you got the Conquest, you know, you get all the uh, territories. You get an 88 Mike Piazza. Really good card, you know, 73-77. Contact, 80-82 power, 78 vision, 73 fielding, 72 arm strength. You know, like, like a really good Mike Piazza card early on. Of course, you got D.D. Gregorius. Obviously good against righties, against lefties, not so much. 
85 carry wood, 4 seam, 12 6 cutter slurve, 106 case per 9, 84 hits per 9. New legend Jared Weaver, 4 seam sinker, slider, circle change, 12 6, 100 stamina, 83 hits per 9. So, yeah, you know, a good cold pitcher early on. Of course, I think it's like, there's going to be like hidden rewards in this. Did like the Twins and Rockies, and I think once you capture those territories, you get like, you know, some like jerseys that you can wear for like your team. And I'm probably going to be doing more of this on my Twitch channel. So, you know, like I said, I'm going to be streaming. When this video goes up, I'm going to be streaming. And then obviously we got BR. And uh, what should we call it? I drafted my team for BR. And, you know, obviously it's not the best team, but it's not the worst team. But let's take a look at the BR rewards. Obviously, you know, you got the bronze, silver, and gold program, like, guys. And, like, I think it works a little bit differently for, the like, the draft and all that. Like, at 90 points, you get a 90 Larry Doby, good against left-handed, uh, or not left-handed, right-handed pitching. Against lefties, you know, he's not going to have the power. Then at 100, you get, like, the five BR, like, flawless rewards. Not going to lie, they're not really that impressive. I think the best one is probably Andrew Miller. Because he's got that 112 hits per 9, 120 case per 9. Slider, 4 seam changeup. He doesn't have a sinker on this card. I think when this card was in 20, I think he had like a sinker. But here he doesn't. And I'm surprised he got a card because I think he retired recently. So that was kind of interesting. Like Jason Bay, I mean, he's got the max uh, contact against lefties. Let's see. Chipper Jones, I mean, he's going to be good against righties. But, I mean, eh. Biggio, it's a meh. Pedro, I mean, he's got a good pit selection. 82 hits for 9, 92 Ks for 9, 100 stamina. Eh. I don't know what to think about these five BR, uh, like, flawless rewards. They're kind of meh. Of course, you got ranks. You got three World Series rewards. You got Jorge Posada, Cal Ripken, and new legend Dontrell Willis. I think Willis is probably going to be the one that everyone goes for. Just because, like, he's a new legend in the game. He's got a four-seam slider, change-up cutter, curveball. Good five-pit selection. And he can swing the bat a little bit. Posada could be really good as well. Good against lefties. 89-78 against righties. This card was really good for me in uh, MLB 19. But I think it was, like, an all-star card. Not a second-half card. Because that didn't exist in 19. But this card was really good. Ripken, I mean, there's better shortstops in the game already. Like, with Lindor and, um, let's see, Tim Anderson. Or, no, not Tim Anderson. Um, there was another shortstop from the... Or Corey Seager, yeah. So, yeah, I feel like Ripken's probably going to be the one that everyone takes the least. Willis, probably the most. Maybe Posada, too. Vance, you got 88 Nolan Ryan. You know, obviously, this card's going to be really good. That walks per nine is pretty low. 88 hits per nine, 100 Ks per nine. Does he have Outlier on this card? He does not. He does have 99 uh, Velocity, though, but not Outlier. Alfonso Soriano, good against lefties. And I guess you could say Derek Jeter's in this game because, you know, the card art does show Derek Jeter, even though he's not in the game. Let's go to the collections now. You can see there, Randy Johnson, Frank Thomas, and Roberto Clemente are the uh, three collection rewards for, like, collecting all the cards in the game. Randy Johnson, I want to focus on this one first. Obviously, new legend in the game, four-seam slider, splitter, slurve, two-seam, outlier on that fastball. Early on, he's going to be an absolute nightmare to face. But once, like, the game progresses throughout the year, he might become someone that might be, like, kind of unreliable. Especially with those 105 hits for 9. Yeah. Like, down the stretch, he's going to be, like, really easy to hit. He's going to become BP. But early on, he's going to be a nightmare to face. Frank Thomas. This is pretty much, like, the same card from last year. A little bit nerfed, but... He's still going to be an absolute beast. Then we got Roberto Clemente, which I'm kind of surprised this wasn't the collection reward in last year's game because he was introduced in last year's game. Max contact, 81-85 power, 118 vision, 95 fielding, 99 arm strength. Pretty much parallel 5, he's 99 defense, and he's got 72 speed. So, you know, obviously I, I thought this was going to be last year's collection for the NL, maybe for the whole league, but, I mean, this card's okay. NL, obviously, you got Chase Utley. This is for the NL East. This card's going to be really good. I have his uh, other card, that 88, and I was using him a little bit on stream, do, like doing offline stuff. Pretty good for me so far. Kenley, oh man, this card's going to be a beast to face. 
cutter, slider, sinker, 100 hits per nine, 115 Ks per nine. Yeah, he's going to be a problem, man. And then fielder, which I think is probably the weakest one out of the three, but he's still a really good hitter. In the AL, you got uh, Michael Young, Mike Mussina, and Grady Sizemore. I feel like Sizemore get, always gets screwed over by SCS because this card last year, I mean, against righties, he was okay. Against lefties, he was pretty bad. Uh, let's see. Mike Mussina, good pitch selection. The hits for nine is probably going to be like the one thing holding him back. And then Michael Young, pretty much typical Michael Young throughout the years. You know, high contact, middle row with power, like good defense all around. Decent, 83 fielding, 78 arm strength, 58 speed. You can pretty much play the infield. So, yeah, it is what it is. Hover athletes. Oh, man. I feel like this one's going to be like, you know, you got Griffey, you got Maurer, you got Ryan Howard, uh, Big Poppy, Kutch, Cabrera, Donaldson, Judge, Harper, Javi, Tatis, and um, Otani. You collect all 12 of them. You get this 96 Joe Maurer. And man, whew, this card, this card is really, really good. Good contact, 86 pop against righties, 74 against lefties, 90 fielding, 88 arm strength. You can play first base, 47 speed. Yeah, this might be a go-to catcher, like, for a lot of people once, you know, they get them, like, down the stretch. Definitely, I'm going to be doing a debut when I get this card. Prospects got a 91 Adley Rutschman. We collect 25. I think this is the same card from last year. Yeah, good contact. Middle of the row power. 69 vision. Nice. 85 fielding, 85 arm strength. I hope the Orioles call him up this year. I would love to see him play in Baltimore. This upcoming season because there's not really much to look forward to in uh, almost at Toronto in Baltimore. So I hope they call him up. I know Breakout, there was like an 89 Dave Parker. This car's like middle of the road. All Star, I think it was like Joe Nathan. This card, eh. He's got a, like, pit selection's okay. 87 Simmons, not really known for his pop. Probably more for his defense. Nothing in the postseason. I know Rookie was like 86 Mark Pryor. The big dog, you got Anthony Volpe, you got Corey Kluber, Todd Helton, Jack Leiter, Curtis Granderson back in the game after a two-year absence. Pablo Sandoval, 125 against lefties. He's going to be a beast. Adam Ottavino, this card was really good in 20. He's going to be a really good pitcher. And you got Jordan Walker, the prospect for the Cardinals. The headliners, you got Spencer Torkson, 90 overall. I think he had like a 99 last year. I think it was like a Future Stars. Really good hitting stats, especially against left-handed pitching. He's going to be really, really good. And then there's one new thing in the game this year, like the chase set. Now, obviously, you can see there contains 50 show packs plus a chase pack, which guarantees one gold or better player with a chance to find feature set one player. And that player is a 95 Albert Pujols from his Rookie of the Year campaign in 2001, which was like 21 years ago. That's kind of crazy if you think about it. And, you know, obviously, Pools is going to be his last year in the league. And, you know, it's kind of fitting that he's back in St. Louis. Back, you know, where he got his whole career started. This card, really good. 120-100, 89-103, 92 vision, 70 fielding, 66 arm strength. First base, third base, right field. Primary left fielder. Probably going to stick him at first base if I do get him. Oh, Coogs open up these chase set packs. And he actually pulled Mike Trout from that. So, you know, obviously, if that's, you know, if the chase packs are going to be that cracked... I kind of like my chances when it, if I like open up the chase pack and I get a diamond. Let's take a look at the calendar. So obviously the calendar, you know, the game came out on April 1st, which was today. Well, it came out April 1st for the East Coast, but it came out March 31st for me because I'm on the West Coast. So, you know, on the 5th, which I think is next week, we're going to get a set to closer for the uh, headliners pack. And then, obviously, the City Connect jersey is going to come out, so definitely excited about that. Seventh baseball is back, and they did say to keep an eye out on something. And then the following day, it says build lineups with the same seven teams from the Nike City Connect program. So I think the, uh, what should we call it? I think the Giants, Cubs, Dodgers, Red Sox, White Sox, uh, maybe the, I don't know. The teams that got, like, the City Connect jerseys last year is probably going to get, like, an event based around them. And then the same day, we're going to get, like, another headliner, um, Big Dog Set 2, including uh, number one prospect, which I think is probably going to be Bobby Witt. So, going to be looking out for that. But, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Just want to, you know, get on the game, get on, record, talk to you guys about, you know, what I've been doing on the game so far, talk about the stuff. Um, 
yeah, like I said, by the time this video drops, I'm probably on Twitch right now, streaming this game, um, probably playing BR with the team I drafted, and doing some more offline stuff. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.